Step number nine and 10, there are two items, one slide, eliminate sweetened foods and eliminate foods made from flour or refined grains. So as we've talked about, sweetened foods and foods with refined grains or have fiber removed raise our blood sugar, which causes us to release insulin, which causes us to store those calories as fat and make them not available for energy. Beer is one of the biggest culprits. It causes abdominal adiposity or beer belly, which is a precursor for insulin resistance. But any kind of refined grain is also bad for us. So even whole grain bread is much faster to be absorbed by the bloodstream than a whole kernel whole grain like quinoa or farro. Tortillas are a problem. Cereal with added sugar especially is a problem. Pasta, noodles, baked goods. White rice has the germ and the bran removed. Corn is an example of a starchy vegetable. Chips, white potatoes, another starchy vegetable. And all sorts of sweetened foods in the food supply are, are the problem. Protein bars, ice cream, cake, cookies. Even paleo protein bars with agave nectar are a problem, so, or, or with, with date juice concentrate. Anytime you take sugar, even from a fruit, and concentrate it and add it to another food, you're, you're necessarily taking the fiber structure where that sweetness actually was originally and putting it into something that's easier to digest and is higher concentrated in that sweetness, and that raises blood sugar. Sweetened drinks. I'm not only talking about Coca-Cola, I'm talking about smoothies. When we have smoothies, we're breaking down the fiber structure of the fruit. It makes the drink easier to turn into sugar in our bodies. Because it's liquid, it doesn't stretch our stomach as much and we don't feel as full, so we're able to consume more of it. And finally, even artificial sweetener is a problem. Even though it doesn't raise blood sugar, it affects our gut microbiome, which thinks we're eating sugar and can lead to insulin resistance and in turn, obesity and diabetes.